Now then, welcome back to another episode of the Survivor Series, playing Terra Firma Punk. I'm in a new place. Yes, I came out to do some mining, and I'm in a new place. And now, get get down, would you? Get down, my bad self. <laughs> um, yeah, I keep being surrounded. I'll put this fence up all the way around us, so that they won't be able to get in. Um, but every now and again, there's a, like a skeleton with some ranged weapon, and that becomes an issue. I'm trying to get these guys that have got the buckets, because they occasionally drop a bucket. Drop me a bucket? No, didn't drop me a bucket, did you? No, he didn't drop me a bucket at all. There's a lot of bucket zombies around, which is a good thing. I need to find a bucket. I need a proper bucket. That would be nice. The other ones can just burn and die, really, but I want the buckets. And they're not dropping the buckets. <laughs> There's lots of bucket zombies, but they're not dropping the buckets. Uh, I've got this sword as well. This black bronze sword. Uh, which one of these dudes over here. Uh, one of these dudes. Uh, this one is Tackleberry. Tackleberry Finn. He dropped a sword for me earlier. Uh, not that one though. It's a, it's a chance of a drop. It's a lucky drop. And another one dropped me uh, a reward bag as well. I did fail to record it though, because normally I will wait for morning like this and let everything just burn up and die. And then go and finish off the rest. Normally when I'm back at base, I'll only worry about the ones with buckets, because I'm looking to get a bucket zombie dead so that I can pick up the sword. Uh, the, the sword. So I can pick up the bucket as a drop. Um, and I don't really want to waste the durability of my weapons killing all these guys constantly. You get these ones, which wear the hats, which of course they don't die so easily. So I'm glad of this sword now. Look how much damage this sword's doing. It's doing awesome amounts of damage. And drop something there. Potato. Oh, and a, a heart, I think that was. Yeah, a quarter of a heart. Very good. And there's a quarter of a heart there as well. Hey! That's a little baby bit. Their heads sometimes pop off and they still have the hands. Um, and normally you catch me after I've uh, been around and clear them all out around my base uh, but t today I'm in a different place and it's a little bit more stressful because they come a lot more mass oh there's some leggings there some pants I want to get those um, there was a skeleton over there somewhere though it looks like he's died off might be okay to go and get that I've got very little opposition right now that's good okay let's get that while we're at it uh, I've been doing a lot of mining over here. I've had this sort of mining operation idea. And it was actually an idea that Thrak gave me. Uh, it's not quite doing what Thrak told me to do. Uh, Thrak played Terra Firma Craft before. And he had a sort of a, a method for uh, mining that he quite liked the look of. And he told me about it. And I gave it a sort of a go. And I'll explain it all in a minute. Uh, this circle of fences is not just aesthetically pleasing. This is actually useful to me as well. Brighton. Get down, you bad self. Bones? Brighton gave me bones. Oh, was that the skelly that I killed earlier? There we go. Right. I brought a load of spruce fences. And I brought myself um, a, another copper axe and a copper shovel and some essential supplies. Because I was coming... A long, long way from home. I was coming to, going to be a long, long way from home for a long, long time, I thought. And I finally found the place that I was looking for. Finally found what I needed. And it was in this area. So I also had a full prospector's pick. Uh, bro a copper prospector's pick, which is totally used up now because of doing all this. Uh, and I didn't bring nearly enough fences for what I actually needed to do. So I started cutting down some of these willow trees over here which grow in abundance around here look at them all loads of willow trees and uh built myself a little shack and started setting all this up if i could use the prospector's pick i could show you that this where the fences are every single fence post is reading a large supply of zinc uh zinc being the sphaxerite or whatever it's called here we go look i show you my hoard um Spaff... Spaffelerite? It's zinc anyway. So, 
I've, I've got quite a horde already and I'm about ready to leave. Also, I must be supremely hungry because I have eaten, and I mean truly eaten, my um, pots of water. I did have two jugs when I came out here, and now I have no jugs. I had this little spruce barrel up here, open to the air, so every time it rained it refilled. And just this uh, yesterday evening, uh, I took a drink and just downed in one jug and all. Water, jug, everything. So now I'm halfway down in the water supply. Uh, can't refill, can't get a drink from anywhere. I don't think I can manually right click and drink on this. No, I can't. I can't drink from here without a jug. Uh, and I've been doing a lot of digging and I've got some resources. So now I need to start heading home. Um... I've done, well let me let me try and explain this a little bit better for you to explain the theory I had I found some of the small deposits on the surface so I got my prospectors pick out and I went away from it in one direction until I found the large supply ended and on the opposite side of the fence there's a mi medium supply or medium deposit I think it's called and then I went all the way around finding all of the large supply right and then from the sort of like the straight areas, I've basically built a circle, haven't I? I've basically done a circle. So I went to the centre of the circle and I began to do digging around and looking for the actual deposits themselves. And I found them just under the surface. Now the surface layer to me is the gravel and dirt. And these support beams will hold the dirt up, as you can see. But they will not hold the gravel up, as you'll find out now. We go, look, you see? So they'll hold the dirt up, but the gravel will still fall. Which means that I've had to uh, contend with gravel falling in on me. And getting all the gravel out and sorting all that out like that. Um, but um, there's, there's seemingly nothing down here, right? You have a look around, and there's seemingly nothing down here. Until you get really close and you start revealing this texture here that says ores. And it drops that little gem there, a little ore, a little bit of this stuff, which is actually 15 units, which is okay. Uh, but it's mixed in a lot more than the other ores that I've been finding from, like, copper and things like that. The textures are so very close that it's hard to find and see. Uh, and also, this is, like, the level below, and I've got these resources here so as I break that down it all comes so you got all them problems to deal with when mining out like this uh, but there's plenty of ores here so there's there's plenty of supply thank you love that I've also lost my support beams a couple of times due to cave-ins like that but I haven't lost my life so Something is going right. Something's working for me. Something's working right. And I'm just getting these last few bits before we head off back to base. Uh, however, there was quite a lot of cool stuff that I found on my way. Uh, so I'm going to go back and claim those on the way back home. Um, I'm collecting this particular ore in order to make a load of brass. I've got copper and I've got brass. And if I show you on the map... You can see how how far I am down. I've been all the way down here. And I had to chop the local trees down in order to get the wood to make the fences as well. But that's okay. Um, yeah, I came all the way down here. Uh, so from the Dragon Island, where I, I start, I actually came down here. But the map didn't save it. The map hasn't saved it. And there's a bit of an island over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, I think this island. I actually marked a load of copper reserves on there as well, like raw materials that I found on the surface. But I knew that I had to find this, like, um, Genesis stone. Is it called Genesis stone? What What is it actually called? Uh, this stuff. Uh, Genesis. Genesis is what I would pronounce it as, even though Genesis is spelt with an E, a G-N, a G-E-T-N. But that's, uh, yeah, Genesis? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that stuff. I knew that that is where I would find the zinc. So I looked around for the biome types 
and I remembered seeing this biome down here when I came down this way. I remember seeing the biome over here and I had some of the Genesis rock already. Uh, but on the way down, I did encounter some places of interest, like uh, these places. Look, you can see these little ruins that have ruined houses, and you can see the brass sticking out of them. You can see the brass pipes sticking out of them. There's a few of them here. Um, and I'm not sure about that one. I think that's a gas trap. That's another one of those gas buildings. So I'm going to head back via that way. Now I've got a little bit of armor with the leather pants and the bronze boots that we've made. And I've got a decent sword. I'm going to try my hand at taking out one of those places and see what we can find. Uh, I, I just did a basic sort of shelter here so that I've been safe night after night while I've been preparing this and digging it all. Uh, but now I'm going to take my loot. Uh, oh, I got a potato. Nice. Um, I'm going to take my loot, which is all this good stuff, and dump all the rubbish, because I don't need all that. And uh, just, oh, well, I'm not bringing all this dirt either. But I did rip down a building to get all the white cedar planks that it had, and some of this smooth chert stone and some pine planks. Got some more pumpkins and a lantern, a fancy lantern off a building, and been picking up the reeds and things. So I've got a fair bit of stuff that I want to stash and go back and I can't really afford to take all these logs and everything either. So I'll probably leave most of this set up ready for when I need some more supplies and come in and almost quarry the whole place out I should think to get to the um, zinc that's just under the surface. I think I'm safest just to take all of the surface off all the way down and then just start digging down from there. Uh, but... It's going to get dark again. It's already a full day gone. It's sunset arise. Uh, I will see you in the morning heading back of that away and we'll take on some of these ruins. Okay, so we're coming up to the first place and it's chucking it down. I haven't been able to get rid of the rain, so we're stuck with it. I just hope that doesn't affect anything. If it blazes in here, then it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. But you can see the copper, uh, the brass stuff from Flaxbeard's already here. It's a kind of a crazy build. A ruin, of course, but it's a ruin with lots and lots of features and things coming out of it. Lots of things for salvage. Just want to figure out where it is. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I see a spawner. And I see a little blue thing down there as well, a kobold. 420 health on a kobold. Is he coming for me? Yes, he is. Of course he is. Die. And give me wheat. Was that vanilla wheat? Ooh, vanilla wheat. Ooh, I don't know what I can do with vanilla wheat that I can't do with uh, the uh, other wheat. But we can see, can't we? Okay, well, that's, that's a start. That's a good start. Oh, there's a hobbyist steam engineer as well. We'll be having that one for sure. Steam tanks. We'll be needing those pretty soon as well. I am Mr. Bronze Man at the minute. That is what I'm working for, getting all the bronze. So I've got to pick up all of this stuff. Clean the place out nicely. Just because. Um, well, we can get rid of that. Don't need that. And It doesn't seem too bad, does it? It doesn't seem too hostile. I think that one little spawner... And I came at it from the right angle. And they're only little kobold, so not too bad. Uh, bookcase. Nice. Bit of leather. Lots and lots of pipes. Lots and lots of pipes with valve pipes and all sorts of bits and pieces. Including some things like steam heaters for furnaces and stuff. So I'm going to uh, reap the benefits of taking all of this kind of stuff. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take any of the wood or the glass. And I don't think I need any of the stone. I might want the bricks, just because they're a little harder to make. Uh, but I'm basically just going to strip this place bare um, before nightfall and possibly camp out on the top for the night. That's my plan. Oh, i got a steam engine. Awesome. Hello, Mr. Redcap. Can I come in? Hi. Oh, wow. Spiders as well. Spiders. Okay, that's not on, is it? Let's pop coal there. Head spiders. Where did they all spawn from, though? Oh, man, they're spawning from above. That's for sure. 
Oh, they're spawning from under the ground there. Surely that's what they're doing. Man. Die. Die, 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 die. Die, die, die. Put that up there quick. Throw that away and get the coal. Uh, I've been in one of these places before. He's dropped a pick. Oh, my days. And string. Okay, let's throw the torch away. Iron pick. We got an iron pick out of that. That's cool. Awesome. These guys drop iron picks. Hmm. They don't leave me on a lot of health, though, do they? Nope. And it's getting dark, and I haven't found a bedroom yet. Uh, I'm going to have to find somewhere to sleep the night very quickly. On oh, my days, that's quite deep. Oh, another spider coming. Get out of my face. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well... That's potentially a good mob farm, really, one of these places. I've already taken one apart, but I didn't see that many places. These spiders coming at me again. I must be close enough to spawn them. They're dying easy enough. I want that... Oh, I want the string, though. I want the string so bad. I'm going to make a little camp out here and do a little farming of these guys. If they're going to give me stuff like that, then I need it. But I also need a quick place to sleep for the night. I think this will probably do me. <laughs> yep, I think this will probably do me. Uh, let's just put a little bit of a shelter over the top of us. And... Uh, yeah, it looks like we're good to go in here. Yep, that'll do. Okay. Good night, folks. Well, I'm back home. Yes. I chickened out at the end of the day. <laughs> I chickened out. Uh, it felt like I didn't have enough food on me. This uh, bread just barely got me home by the looks of it. Look, and the potato. That's all I had when I was down there. I've just come back and made some sandwiches. Had no water on me as well, so I had to go and uh, jump into a pool every time I wanted some water. And the mobs there, they were dropping some good stuff. It was string, spider eyes, and sometimes iron picks. Uh, but I've grabbed what I can, so the iron picks there, I grabbed that. And I've got some steam tanks and some valves and lots of pipes now. 60 pipes, some fans. I've got a pressure converter from that last place as well. The hobbyist steam engine, the steam heater, and uh, those sort of things. Uh, the main reason I went out there, though, let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, maple saplings and another reward bag. And a copper axe. Ooh, that's lovely. That's a lovely reward bag. That is, that's a lovely reward bag. And this is a good reward bag. Boom. A lemon tree sapling. Okay, and some rotten flesh. Why, thank you so much, Wolfie. Thank you so much for the rotten flesh. I appreciate it. Let's go and plant this now. It's now... The reason I didn't go straight back out there, I came all the way back because my inventory was full. I even had a, a thing on my back full of loot as well that I've uh, since emptied out. I planned on going all the way back over there. I'm looking at bed, but... I uh, planned on going all the way back over there, and then I realised... It's now early spring, and I realised because I was come back here and I was really thirsty, and I started drinking the water, started drinking all my water, and the ice melted while I was drinking the water, and I was like, must be warming up. Check the time, early spring, 1st of March, 13 hours have passed now, 1st of March, and I, I've got to get planting, haven't I? I've got to get planting crops and sorting all that out. As you can see, look at, look at this, right? Better foliage. You may have noticed it earlier in the video, but the latest update of the Terra Firma Punk pack has put better foliage in. And so now I've got better foliage growing things around all over the place. I like the mod. It's a cool mod. Um, but the place looks so different this spring. It's like everything's sprouting and growing in this spring. It's a cool, cool thing. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's good. Um, i just got to get used to it now. All these little bits of grass on the floor. This, these little grassy bits and everything. Uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I, I was keeping the place looking really, really, like, well-groomed and everything. And now I've got these little stubby bits of grass. I know that I can remove the grass if I want to. Don't worry. You don't need to tell me. Uh, F8 and you bring up the configs for better foliage and all that. Uh, I'm surprised my trees haven't grown while I've been away. Maybe there's just not enough space for them here. Every three they seem to have been growing. They seem to have been growing every three. Uh, there's two there. There's a two there. Three there. Two there. So they do grow two apart. 
Okay, okay, okay. I thought more would have grown. Uh, but less talk, more action. I need to start thinking about planting all of these seeds I've got. And I've got quite a lot of seeds. So I need to start hoeing and planting. Uh, one of the things I wanted to check was to see if my level of skill... Uh, now I am an expert in agriculture, thanks to breaking so many things and getting all the seeds. My skill in agriculture should now allow me to see the... Uh, no, it's not. I've got another option, as you can see. I've got another little option. And it should allow me to see the minerals that are in the soil. So I know where to do it. So it should be like, like that. But it doesn't have it. Maybe I need to make um, like a copper hoe or something. Maybe a stone hoe isn't high enough tool level. So I'll work on that and have a look. Uh, I'm going to get the planting done off camera though. I'm not going to record planting a load of seeds and harvesting, uh, getting everything ready over there. So I'll do that around here as well later on. Uh, plant the lemon tree. Where are we going to put a lemon tree? We've got the... Uh, cherry trees, we've got an olive tree, so we should really try and put it across here. How big are they? Two out? Yeah, so one, two, one, two, there. That ought to do it. Round it off nicely. Uh, yeah, that'll do me. I'll have a nice little uh, fruit tree lookout. And what else? Oh yes, I want to show you my hoard. I want to show my hoard. So, this stuff, I need 10 units. Each one of these 15. So, that's a lot. So, every two of those is three bars of brass. And in order to make the boiler that we're going into in flax beards, uh, boiler, there we go, I'm going to need eight brass around a furnace. So, uh, there's three, six, Wait, six, nine. There's nine right there for that and still loads left over. So I've got plenty for brass. And copper, I went over there before finishing and cleared out the rest of the copper below and ended up with all of this copper. So now all I need to do is get that all put into the crucible and smelt it down into brass and make a ton of brass. And just have a pile of brass on the side ready for going into that mod uh, my first priority though being that it's like the first day of spring i must get all of my crops planted uh, out and about as fast as i can and then start furnacing another thing that i want to do this episode though before i start doing all that off camera work that you don't really need to see me do all over again is i want to make a bed and the, the string that I got was basically what put me on to making a bed straight away. I need wool, which is wool yarn, to make wool cloth. And I need three wool cloth to make a bed. Uh, either way, three, three to make a bed. There's wool cloth and there's silk cloth. Silk cloth uses string on a loom. 24 string on a loom to make one silk cloth. And I, I hung around there long enough to get a load of spider string. So now I should be able to, in theory, make myself a loom and get on with making a bed. So let's quickly do that. Loom it up. Uh, an oak loom, an aspen loom. I don't think it makes any difference, but I've got lots of willow, I think. Stick with willow around the outside. Let's see. Uh, yes, I've got lots of willow around the outside. That'll do. So we put that in there. We put the willow around the outside, and that makes me a willow loom. Awesome. Uh, I don't need that barrel anymore. Uh, I think I'm going to put this out here along with the leather working, but I may increase the amount of barrels I've got for leather working around here as well, because, well, it takes quite a while, doesn't it? It takes a, it takes a while to process. And I can put the loom there. Okay, fine. So let's put string on first, because we know we're going to use that. Put the string on it. Is that right? Yeah, it's got a piece of string on by the looks of it now. Let's use one up anyway. I can't see any visual representation of the string there. And now, two pieces go on and you see a visual representation. Now we're seeing it. Okay, so let's switch to the wool yarn and see if that goes on as well. No, it doesn't go on as well. Okay, so we paste this all on like this. 
until we've used up 24. Uh, yeah, that's about right, 24. And then I'm supposed to like right click it here or something. Or shift right click it or something, is it? Or just hit it in the right place. Uh, 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 uh. Shift, shift right click. Shift right click it. Okay, I shift right click it to make it do the looming thing. So now it's doing a traditional loom. Look how cool they look. What graphics. Amazing graphics. And it's actually sort of like knitting it together. And uh, you can see the layers going down the horizontals now as well. How cool is that? That's like just that little bit of detail that just goes a very, very long way. How awesome. So that's the last piece. Awesome. So now we've got three pieces of silk cloth. Now we should be able to make a bed. And I think I can use just planks. Uh, I think the idea was I could use planks. Let me just check. Otherwise I've got to use the little bits of wood. Uh, no, I can't use planks that way. Okay. So, oh, that was a carpenter's bed. That's right. I could use a carpenter's bed. Or I could use these, like, planks or lumber to make a, a bed this way. Yeah, so I could make a standard, like, vanilla bed that way. Uh, but I think I'm going to have a carpenter's bed because then I can do a little bit more messing around with it and designing it. And I do have carpenter's blocks, so may as well. Let's see. Let's see if it looks right. The same. No. Okay, so only wool on a carpenter's blocks. But you have to use silk on lumber. Okay, well that's fine. I take the bed anyway. And I set the bed up. Do I have a bedroom? Where do I want my bed? I don't really want my bed on this level, do I? Uh, let's just put it here for now. And I'll find a better place for it. It is getting dark, so let's see how night approaches. De -de 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 -de. Oh yeah, daytime approaches. And that means that we've now travelled on the full day. Okay. So now I must get on with my farming enterprises and uh, getting all that brass made up. And next episode, guys, we shall look into some of the flax beard stuff and start thinking about that and how to process water into steam. The new age of technology is upon us. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of the Survivor Series. Terra Firma Punk.